Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Aquarius reading for the first half of October. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Aquarius. Okay? So let's see what we have for you. First half of October. If this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. Now, every aspect of this reading may not resonate because it is general, okay? And energy can be flip-flopped in reverse, okay? So, for a craze, first half of October, let's see. All right. Overall energy, three of cups. All right. I just want to party, 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 right? With the four of cups because you're not happy. You just want to have some fun. Yeah. Got some regrets, maybe. Okay. Regrets about maybe a path that you chose or, you know, how you did things. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. You just want to have some fun. You just want to, you know, have a good time. Be with family, friends. Enjoy yourself. What's your energy here in the first half of October? Page of Wands. Okay. Exciting news. Mm. That's why you want to go out and have fun. You got some exciting news, right? Maybe you learn some information. You get some information that makes you very excited, inspires you in some way. And you just want to go out and have a good time. Maybe you're going to celebrate. What happened in a recent past? The High Priestess. Okay. Energy of secrets. Okay. Solitude. But it's also like using your intuition. Maybe your intuition guides you to make a certain decision, okay? Could be that decision that you regret down here, all right? Let's see. What are you thinking about? Judgment, okay? A second chance at something, revisiting something, okay? Maybe your intuition has told you to do something, okay? Where you're now wanting a second chance at something. Hmm. Why? Six of Wands. You want a victory. You want success. All right? You want to bring something out to the forefront. Like, you want to be recognized for something. You want to accomplish something. Okay? All right. What's coming up in the immediate future? The King of Cups. Okay? Emotions express. Because the High Priestess is also suppress emotions. Okay, holding secrets. Okay, be someone could have been holding in feelings and now they want to communicate them. What's your advice? Queen of Pentacles, stability. Okay, it's about establishing stability within yourself. Okay, but she's also an energy that cares for others as well. Let's see. I'm going to clarify and see. For Aquarius here in the first half of October, what messages do you have for Aquarius spirit for the first half of October? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay. All right. We have the three of cups here as your overall energy. You just want to party, 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 right? Why is it, mm -mm, why is the three of cups here? For Aquarius in the first half of October. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to party, 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 right? Because you're healing from some type of conflict. We got the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. You're healing from some type of conflict that you've experienced. All right, you've taken the step back, you know, went into solitude. We saw the high priestess energy here in a recent past, okay? Maybe get more enlightened about something, okay? And the, the nine of cups here, you're starting to maybe even feel more energized, okay? And you want to go towards your wishes being fulfilled. We have the knight of cups, okay? That's movement. You're ready to get things moving, okay? If you're coming out of solitude, you're ready to get things moving, all right? We also have the Nine of Swords here, Anxiety and Stress, and the Queen of Wands, okay? So there could be some type of anxiety or stress around a person, okay? 
because the three of cups could be um not only party 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 but um like a third party okay so you could be healing from a rejection because there was a third party okay or you could be healing and now ready to have a good time have some fun Mm -hmm. Because you're going after having your wishes being fulfilled. There's some type of, type of anxiety or stress around the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay. We do have the Five of Wands and the Page of Swords and Justice. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah. And three of, four of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah. It's like... I'm going to dive deeper, but I do feel like someone is healing from some type of conflict. Could be with a third party, but here we go. We have the Page of Wands here as your energy in the first half of October. Why is the Page of Wands here? Someone has is excited to communicate something. Maybe you receive some exciting news. Why is the Page of Wands here? What's the Page of Wands for for Aquarius? Okay, the world, ending a cycle, okay? You could be getting some exciting news that a cycle has ended, okay? Maybe you're getting some paperwork saying in a, a, a cycle is ending, right? With the hangman and temperance, okay? Yeah. And the seven of wands. This is like whatever was blocking you, whatever was keeping some something stuck is over, okay? Yeah, and then the page of wands again. Okay, Hermit and the Page of Wands, all right, with the Eight of Cups. It's like someone who went into solitude, pulled, you know, to learn some information or to figure something out or to like gain some type of knowledge. Okay, when you go into solitude, it's like you're you're going in there to kind of figure things out, okay, about maybe about yourself, about your life, but also to just you know become wiser at something. It's like someone is now communicating that they're leaving something that's not emotionally serving them for success, for an accomplishment, for a victory, okay? Because with the Eight of Swords there, they might have felt very stuck in something, okay? Very stuck in whatever stuck cycle they were in, it's over, okay? And they're communicating that here. Why is the High Priestess here in the recent past? Why is the High Priestess here in the recent past? It could have been with this Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Yeah. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Star, and the Six of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. The High Priestess is, you know, your intuition. Okay. I do feel like in a recent past, someone, you know, took a moment for themselves. Okay. With that Virgo energy, Hermit energy. All right. And with the five of pentacles is because they were experiencing some type of loneliness, some type of abandonment, being left out in the cold, financial hardship. OK. And with that, they had to heal themselves with this star energy. OK. I feel like that was a time for them to connect with spirit, to connect with themselves, to figure out exactly what they want. OK. Yeah. And the six of swords, moving away from something, moving on to something better, moving on to calmer waters. We have the Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords in Judgment, okay? This is someone being up in their head about maybe a relationship opportunity or coming into union, okay? But with Judgment here, okay, someone wants that second chance. It's like they want to make a decision now, okay? So let's see. Because we do have Judgment is what someone is thinking about. Why is Judgment here is what Aquarius is thinking about? Because this is your reading, but you know to flip it however you want. Why is Judgment here? As what Aquarius is thinking about for the first half of October. Judgment. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups. Yeah. 
Judgment, Four of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Holding on to past regrets, okay? Maybe someone couldn't make a decision because they were holding on to something in the past, okay? Yeah. And with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this is them working on that, okay? Working on um, themselves, okay? In the solitude, right? I do feel like someone made a decision to hold on to maybe a connection from the past, okay? And that they regret doing that, working on something from the past that they were building on. They might regret doing that. Wise judgment here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Queen of Swords. Okay. Two of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So with the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, this is definitely someone's intuition letting them know it's time for change. Okay, we have the Wounded Warrior on the bottom, Nine of Wands. Someone has been through a lot, okay? And this is the High Priestess letting them know it's time for change. This could be your energy, Aquarius, okay? If you know this is you, apply it, all right? If your energy, I mean, if, you're, um, if you took a step back, okay, because you, you know, had to heal from a situation to kind of get your thoughts together, your intuition has been telling you it's time for a change. You've been going back and forth with that decision, but your intuition is telling you it's time for a change. You've been holding on to something from the past, okay? Holding on to something from the past or maybe even trying to work on something from your past. And spirit is guiding you to go in a different direction. It's time for a change in a situation. Why is the six of wands here? As the root of it. It's, I feel like it's so that you can have a victory. So that you can have accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Six of wands, four Aquarius. Six of Wands for Aquarius. It's like you're holding on to something because you were already building it. It's like, you know, even though I know this is, you know, not good for me and it's kind of crumbling, it's like, but I already started now. Okay, that's the energy that you're giving. But the three, three of Cups here, all right, this is about happiness, it's about joy, it's about expansion, it's about family and friends, all right? Ace of uh, Wands here and the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Okay, someone definitely wants to have a new beginning. Okay, wants to enjoy themselves, wants to come together with family and friends, wants to have a stable commitment. Okay, six of wands. Okay, ten of cups and a seven of cups. Yeah. Maybe they're calling in this energy. Okay, yeah, but still like a little worried about is this the right thing? Okay. Will it actually be, you know, forever? Will I actually, you know, if someone might be feeling like they can have what forever with you or you're feeling that way about someone else, but you're questioning it. Why is the six of wands here? And that's because you're going back and forth with your decision. Okay. And hanging on to something from the past, the moon, the five of swords, two of wands. Yeah. It's fear. Mm -hmm. We have the Eight of Cups on the bottom. The moon is about fear. It's fear of the unknown. Okay. It's like you're walking into a path and you don't know what's necessarily ahead of you. It could be a very dark path, right? You're walking into a very dark path. You don't know what's up ahead. All right. And that fear, okay. Yeah, he's walking into, you know, the dark path. Okay. That fear of a new beginning is out there. But that fear is, is mentally conflicting to you. Like, you don't know which way to go, which way, you know, what to choose, okay? And we have the two of wands, okay? Fear is making you mentally conflicted about an option, about a new direction, about going in a new direction. So with the eight of wands, I mean, the eight of cups and the six of wands and the ace of pentacles, you are indecisive you know that there's a choice to make you're indecisive about moving away from one thing that you already started working on so that you can be happy because you're unsure if you actually will be so you're just going to stay miserable yeah. 
We have the King of Cups in me to feed you. The King of Cups is a person that has a whole lot of love and doesn't necessarily show it. So, why is the King of Cups here in the immediate future for Aquarius? It's like now you're ready to express yourself, okay? Because we can clearly see you want to have fun and enjoy yourself. You just want to party, 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 okay? Why is the King of Cups here in the immediate future for Aquarius? Why is the King of Cups here in the immediate future for Aquarius? You want to come, to come together <laughs> with family and friends and people that love you, okay? Yep, Ten of Swords. You, you ain't got no more to give. You ain't got no more to give, right? Yep. Ten of Wands on the bottom. It's been too hard. It's been too hard. Sabotage your energy with the Eight of Swords. Self-imposed, right? You're like, it's been too hard. Now you're ready, okay? Yep. Now you're ready. Yep. Now you're ready to work on this connection, okay? Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work, putting in the effort. You're like, okay, I'm ready to work on this connection with the lover's energy. There's someone that you feel very close to, okay? Very connected to, all right? Because you're realizing something, all right? And you have some significant regrets. Because you realizing that your regrets are keeping you from being able to have this new beginning. Those past wounds, okay? Those wounds from the past are keeping you from having this new beginning with the ace of wands page of pentacles raising consciousness special card in this deck but you have to raise your consciousness see your worth so you know that you can have this great opportunity it's ahead of you the thing is it's fear you miss the conflict about what choice to make why is the queen of pentacles here is your advice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the ten of pentacles okay you could be going towards an earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn. But whoever this is, this person is going to give you the Ten of Pentacles, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, okay? It's saying slow and steady, okay? It will get to that point, slow and steady, all right? Ten of Wands is also here in Judgment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could have been in a commitment that was definitely very heavy, you know, and very difficult to deal with. But I feel like slow and steady, this will actually get there. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here as your advice for Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles, that's the advice. Queen of Pentacles again. <laughs> okay. With the Emperor. Okay, so we got the Emperor here. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, this is you taking control of your own self. It's like you're pulling yourself out of your own mind. All right? Yeah, and seeing like this can actually be something that I can have. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? All right? You're taking control of your own self and seeing the value not only in yourself, but in what you have in front of you. All right? There's an opportunity here that you want to go towards, but you are doubting it. Okay? And once you do that, once you pull up your bootstraps, like my pop pop say, okay, pull up your bootstraps, all right, this Ace of Swords, you know, is an awakening, it's a victory, it's a it's clarity that it's time to go, okay? Yeah, you'll gain that clarity. Once you get confident in your own self, all right, and let's get you an affirmation message, all right? I feel like you have some regrets from the past that are keeping you from believing in, in your future, okay? Because what you want to do is enjoy yourself and have and be in love and, and have a successful relationship. But because you didn't necessarily have that in the past, you don't trust this new opportunity. Everybody ain't the past, okay? Let's get some guidance for Aquarius. What affirmation do they need for this first half of October? For my Aquarians. It's the same car. So irritating. Fuck. Okay, you get three affirmations and they say, when I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. You see that? Yeah, man. You also get spiritual alignment 
puts my manifestation in motion. Okay. Lesson, Linda. And I slow down to listen to the guidance that's available to me. Slow and steady. You got to rush. All right. Yeah. Spirit is trying to direct you. Okay. The high priestess energy. That's why you had. I feel like spirit puts you on pause. Okay. But the hermit energy, I feel like spirit puts you on pause so that you can listen, pay attention. Okay. Bottom of the deck, it says appreciation dissolves all blocks. Self-imposed and otherwise. Okay. To the presence of my super attractor power. Okay. And that is when you start to feel better within yourself. Okay. If there's something that didn't go right before. Okay. Maybe you have some regrets about something you did in relationship in the past. That's not this situation. Okay. Once you establish the confidence and start to feel better about yourself. Then you'll start to feel more confident and better about this situation. This new situation. Okay. Because spirit is definitely guiding you to choose a different route. From what you were at before. Okay, ship. So that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye.